Hi everyone, welcome to my classroom. Please subscribe my channel to receive the updates on the topics of life science. In this video, we can discuss about the axis and pattern development in the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster. A major goal of developmental biology is to understand how genes control embryonic development and to do this one must first identify those genes critically involved in controlling development of organisms. In the majority of animals, embryogenesis results in a larva. The larva itself undergo development. After juvenile phase, life culminates when the adult reaches sexual maturity. Aging finishes the phase of sexual maturity and death ends in somatic cells of the individuals. It is proved that the genes control all these processes by controlling the biochemical reactions that occur in a cell. Developmental genesis have made elaborate studies of genes during development using certain model organisms. These model systems represents quite wide range of organisms example Drosophila, Cynorhabditis and Zebrafish. In spite of the differences between various animals, there are broad similarities in their development. In all the animals studied, division of the zygote leads to a multicellular blastula. This is followed by gaslation during which cells of the three germ layers become located in the, in the correct position for future development of the animal body. In most embryos, future endoderm and mesoderm are located initially on the outside of the embryo and move inside during gaslation. Genetic analysis has been a powerful tool for discovering the underlying principle of development. Why Drosophila is used as a model organism? See, there are multiple reasons for selecting Drosophila as a genetic material. The fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster is an important model organism for studying development because sophisticated genetic manipulations are possible. Genetic studies in Drosophila revealed that Many of the genes that control the development are similar to those controlling development in vertebrates. Again, the life cycle of the fruit fly from hatching takes place 2 to 3 weeks. Embryogenesis takes place only one day and the larva passes through three larval stages separated by molting in four days. The larva Produce, produces a new particle called pupurium. It undergo metamorphosis. It is about 5 days. The adult life lasts for about 9 days. The early embryonic development of Drosophila is governed by genes that affect through their protein products. The state of active subordinate genes. These genes products act by control transcription. The development of adult body in Drosophila occurs by organizing the body parts along three axes. One, the anterior posterior axis. Two, the dorsoventral axis. And the three is the right and left axis. The two classes of genes controlling development are, are distinguished in Drosophila. Genes responsible for axis determination are called maternal effect genes. The anterior posterior polarity of the embryo, larva and the adult is determined by these genes. These axis determining genes are active in the ovary tubes of the maternal organisms. They produce mRNA that are placed into different regions of the egg. The protein products of these genes activate or repress the expression of the another group of genes called zygotic genes. Let we can see how the pattern formation in Drosophila take place. 
There are three fundamental types of genes involved in the developmental structure of Drosophila. They are maternal effect genes, segmentation genes and homeotic genes. Maternal effect genes. As I mentioned elsewhere, the building blocks of anterior posterior axis patterning in Drosophila are laid out during egg formation or oogenesis well before the egg is fertilized and deposited. The maternal effect genes are responsible for the polarity of the egg and of the embryo. The developing egg or oocyte is polarized by differentially localized mRNA molecules. The maternal effect genes are divided into two major groups. A. Genes affecting anterior-posterior polarity and the other is genes affecting dorsoventral polarity. See here, first we can see genes affecting anterior-posterior polarity. Here the maternal genes are bicoid and hunchback. The function is patterning of anterior parts, head and thorax of the drosophila embryo. Nanos and caudal. Formation of more posterior abdominal segments of the drosophila embryo. In embryos from bicoid mutant mothers, the head and thoracic structures are converted to the abdomen making the embryo with posterior structures on both ends, a lethal phenotype. The bicoid protein has some restricted capacity to diffuse and are concentrated at the anterior pole and act as an organizer. If both the allele of the bicoid genes are defective, the larva lacks head and thorax. Hunchback is the first zygotic gene activated by the bicoid transcription factor. Nanos control the posterior organizing center. It is not a transcription factor and does not bind to DNA. The translation of the hunchback message is suppressed by the nanos protein in the posterior region of the egg affecting dorsoventral polarity. Here the maternal genes are dorsal and tall. The function is the activation of tall gene leading to the development of the dorsoventral axis. Spat cell. The protein product of this gene activates tall gene. Genes affecting segmentation of the body. The transcription factors of maternal effect gene activates zygotic genes. They are segmentation genes and homeotic genes. Segmentation genes play an important role in the formation of body segments. Example for segmentation genes are gap genes, payroll genes and segment polarity genes. Gap genes subdivide the embryo into regions along the anteroposterior axis. Mutations in these genes cause gaps in the segmentation pattern. Payroll genes divide the embryo into periodic units, delimiting parasegments and each pair gene being expressed in alternate parasegments. Segment polarity genes patterning the parasegments and segments. Their mRNA and protein products divide the embryo into 14 segment wide units. Homeotic genes. Homeotic genes are a group of genes that control the pattern of body formation, encode homeodomain transcription factors and control the expression of other genes. Homeotic genes are involved in determining where, when and how body segments develop in flies. Any alteration in these genes cause changes in patterns of body parts. Homeotic genes in Drosophila are broken into two clusters consisting of 5 and 3 genes on the same chromosome and separated by a long stretch of DNA. The 5 genes represents the antennapedia complex or ANTC and the 3 genes forms the bithorax complex that is BXC. This figure is the summary of Drosophila showing temporal sequence of expression of master genes controlling embryo pattern formation. The stripes show the distribution of proteins encoded by such genes. See, you can see the cytoplasmic polarity or maternal effect genes, gap gene, payroll gene, segment polarity gene and homeotic genes. We can see what are Hox genes, homeobox and homeotic mutations. Hox genes are family of homeobox containing genes that are present in all animals and are involved in patterning the anteroposterior axis. Homeobox is a region of DNA in homeotic genes that encode a DNA binding domain called homeodomain. 
The homeo domain contains a similar DNA binding region of 60 amino acids encoded by a DNA sequence of 180 base pairs termed the homeo box. Homeotic mutations are the incorrect expression of Hox genes change the morphology of the individual. From this discussion, I hope you could understand the axis and pattern determining genes and their functions in Drosophila. See you in another class with another topic of interest. Thank you.